If you've got ADHD and you're looking for natural options to treat it effectively, some of which actually work just as good as medications, listen up. Today, I'm gonna to go through four different types of herbal medications that will help you manage your symptoms of ADHD naturally. First up is saffron. Now, saffron is a spice that you might be more familiar with in your kitchen cabinet, but it turns out that saffron is as effective as one of the most popular ADHD medications on the market, methylphenidate, when it's used consistently for six weeks. The study that proves this is called Crocus sativus versus methylphenidate in the treatment of children with attention deficit disorder, a randomized double-blind pilot study. Check it out if you wanna see the proof or take a look at the graph right here. You should always chat with your doctor before you incorporate it in your routine, but in my clinical experience, it's incredibly safe and gentle. Plus, because it's a spice and really high in antioxidants, it can help with other things like mood and pain. Consider saffron if you're someone who wants to make your existing medications work better or is trying to manage your symptoms without prescription medications. Next up, ginseng and ginkgo biloba. Now, when these two herbs were combined, after four weeks of taking ginkgo biloba and ginseng together, 74% of people had a statistically significant improvement in their Connor score, which is the type of score we use to measure symptoms in ADHD. In particular, they saw improvements in the hyperactive and impulsive parts of that test scoring system, which means they were less hyperactive and less impulsive, all from taking two herbs. Now, these herbs are trickier and they can come with side effects. For example, there's some evidence that ginkgo can cause issues with bleeding if you have a bleeding disorder or you're on blood thinning medications. Ginseng can be a little bit stimulating and might upset your stomach. And so this is why you should work with a practitioner who's really well trained in herbal medicines before you add these into your own routine. Herbs are the original pharmaceuticals. It means that they come with really powerful effects, but also sometimes really powerful side effects. So another plug to never start these on your own without talking to your doctor. However, isn't this really cool? natural interventions that work really well for ADHD symptoms. The last herb we're gonna talk about is called pycnogenol. It's also known as French maritime pine bark extract, and it comes from a pine tree. In a study titled Treatment of ADHD with French maritime pine bark extract, pycnogenol, this study found that after one month of taking pycnogenol, people had a statistically significant improvement in their hyperactivity, impulsivity, and attention. That's huge, especially because you can get pycnogenol over the counter. They were also able to improve things like their concentration and even their visual motor coordination. Really interestingly, one month after stopping the supplement, all of the symptoms returned, which means we have really strong evidence that it was actually the fact that these people were taking the supplement that reduced their symptoms. So we've reviewed four different herbs, pycnogenol, ginseng, ginkgo biloba, and saffron all of which can be really powerful interventions for managing ADHD. None of these come in a prescription bottle. It's your right to absolutely know how to use herbal medicine as part of your way of managing your ADHD. But please, because herbs are the original medicine, check with your doctor before you add them into your routine. If and when you do, you're likely to experience what the people in these studies experience. Improvement in concentration, improvement in attention and focus, as well as visual motor coordination, and a reduction in hyperactivity. If you wanna learn more about natural interventions for ADHD and other conditions, hit that subscribe button. And this video was part of a series, so stay tuned for the next one on supplements that work for ADHD.